home of the beaver. I don't know where I roam. I don't really know her. But yo, I don't know. I was talking about the, uh, the, where's my, there's the thing. Okay, we'll show them. You put it back to my bow staff styles, man. All right, okay. Check it out, man. Okay, okay, so here it goes, all right? So, like, the YMCA thing with the guy, the guy, the cowboy hat there, his name was, uh, well, his his name is, like, he's the son of the guy of the cowboy hat there. His name is Casey or whatever. So I figure, you know, like, the LMA thing and whatever, like, my obsession with her and all that there is pretty much over. And uh, that forfeits, like, the whole alliance with the NSA that we had for a little while going down with the uh, the crew for a bit. So, like, that was, like, ten years in the past, though. Like, everybody already got to know each other and whatever, so that Ed Snowden film and all that other guff is crap there. But the actor from the Ed Snowden film is actually pretty cool. But now that I look at him, now that he's older, you can kind of compare to me when I was younger, and we both look not so nice. Like, he looks like a real Jew, and I look like a real bum. And I don't know, he was cute when he was a kid, though. With that guy there from, uh... What is it there? Fucking, uh... Uh, do South or whatever, they're the fucking guy there. Those guys, like, those guys, okay, cool. All right, no problem, right? But here's the thing, it's like, Will Shackapash, if you guys from the Westies, like, remember this. Like, he said he liked my aunt's titties, and he was kind of horny for them. And then all that other shit kind of rolled out, because we were actually pretty cool down there. And it's Beaconsfield, it's not the fucking South Shore, but I like it better here for some reason. Like, I don't know, I just figure as though... Like, I'm taking my bike ride, right? And, like, <clears throat> they're watching me from fucking wherever there. Like, there were probably cars going by and stuff and like that. There were people radio in. And they're like, yeah, you know, but I was, I was like, I was thinking, you know, because Shakira is like getting the tour from Justin Trudeau and all that. And I go to the old neighborhood there where everybody used to hang out and stuff with my old family. Or I don't even know the relative stories and all that shit. But uh, I told someone something and. It's not the end of the world, but it's just the way it goes. Like, it kind of rolls on downhill, and then the people from the French community pick it up, and they're like, oh, this name, that name, or whatever. But, like, what it comes down to is this, right? Like, <clears throat> um, it's none of my business, really. I'm kind of irrelevant, which is why I like to keep my status as thus, because, like, we overpopulate, like, mad, you know? And I think that... It's important to share with the kids. Like, I'll show my dick right now, okay? So just so that you guys can bust a nut. You know, you see, you know, he's cute, you know, like, I'm a little kid or something. Like, I, I see him and, like, I could actually do this, right? With, like, my friends or, like, to another girl or something, you know? But I won't do it anyway because it's not right. And people will be like, yo, you know, this guy might be a little too honest. And that's not the thing, though. The thing is, like... <clears throat> When it comes to honesty, like, I can be extremely deceiving, like, when it comes to <clears throat> the weak or whatever, like, that's what other people prey on, like, they, how we survive, we're all, like, Siths or something, in some sort, like, somewhat of a society that the Americans have influenced us to portray as, like, you know, perhaps, um, you know, uh, maybe, um, to scare the children or, you know, not to be fair with others or whatever, you know, give them a chance, you know, it doesn't matter where they come from. If they're from the Middle East, yo, those people, okay, whether they be male, female, or whatever, like, if you've got the kind of opportunity as a bilingual citizen would have, like, give them the chance to grow their family or whatever, without being prejudiced and all that shit, and like, you know, then your kids could get to know their kids, you guys can negotiate, you can understand each other, and maybe they'll form a new bond or something. And you know those chicks are hot. It's coming from a guy, right? And like, you know, from the guys, like, who come from there, I can't even talk about it because they've got their own philosophy. Like, they fucking love us, man. I swear to God, especially our women, man. Our women are the best. But I'm going to close on that note. What I'll say is that perhaps, you know, if, uh, you know, this virus crap, like, eventually blows over, then, uh, then that would be awesome, because, you know, there's something going on right now that people don't really necessarily want to know, and I think that, you know, what's been going on in other people's countries for a very long time, over nothing, 
is something I have to express. So there you go. There you have it for me. All right. Uh, so later.